a game that is sure to provide more drama than the 2016 presidential election. We have a rematch of last year's game between the HMTCA Phoenix and the Two Rivers Hurricanes. My name is Mike Collins. Unfortunately, I'm without my partner Al Collins today, but that's okay. I'll do it myself, but we will miss him. Again, big crowd here tonight, just like last year. I'm sure the HMTCA Phoenix are looking to avenge last year's loss. Sean Dixon will tip for the Two Rivers Hurricanes. And Tristan Reed will tip for the Phoenix. And here we go. Okay, the Phoenix will take possession early. To Austin, over to Tristan Reed, shots up, it's good. That's a three-pointer for number three, Matu Augustin. Nice shot. We got full point pressure in the backcourt. Should make things very difficult for Two Rivers to bring it down, but right there, coast to coast, that's number 14, Fitzroy Webb, one of the captains of the Two Rivers Hurricanes. There's Weaver Bay, dishing it inside, nice look. Just missed. Here comes number 12, Captain Kelly. He runs over the defense. Let's see what they call it. I would not want to be in Captain Kelly's way. He already looks like a college player. Okay, number 10, Nashawn Williamson will set the table. He's working the point guard for the injured Kenny Jernigan. Arguably the MVP of last year's championship victory. There's Captain Kelly and one. Nice take. That's a big boy move right there. You're probably going to see a lot of that tonight. Let's see if he can make it a three-point play. Okay. Kelly connects from the charity stripe. We have a score of four to three. Hurricanes with about six minutes and 18 seconds remaining. There's a big steal by number 10. That was Nashawn Williamson drawing the foul. Okay. Coach Kramer is gonna call a timeout. Talk things over. So already, oh, I made a mistake. The score is five to three. Two Rivers with about six minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the game. You are watching Crack TV. Conversation probably had a little bit to do with not fouling the other team. The Phoenix have three fouls early in this game. The coach probably wants to stop the bleeding now. Oh, big steal by the Phoenix. He'll take it himself. It's coming the other way. Just couldn't handle it on the on the uh, the drive there. Oh, can't do that. It's a dribbling malfunction. The ball will come back the Phoenix way. Let's see what kind of inbound play they came here. Oh, big three-point attempt, no good. Uh, offensive rebounds always help out. There's another three-point attempt, and that's nothing but net from Captain Terrence Weaver Bay. Nice shot. Oh, here comes Captain Kelly. Oh, he's taking it all by himself. All right. 
We have a score of seven to six, two rivers. A oh, big take there. That was number 24, Fernando Colon, the center. The Phoenix are giving the Two Rivers Hurricanes a tough time in the backcourt. Oh, not a smart pass, but Captain Kelly's right there. He's gonna take it himself again. He is dominating down low early in this game. Scores nine to eight, Two Rivers. Oh, there's Cologne, hung in the air for a little bit, and he hits. Also drawing the foul, he'll try to turn this into a three-point play of his own. And he just misses, didn't get the roll. Ooh, ooh, that was Jordan S, but he couldn't connect. All right, Dixon back out to Williamson with the shot. No good. Oh, here comes Fernando Colon dribbling like a point guard. It's gonna, it's gonna stay this way? Yes, it is. It was out on two rivers. Okay, the Phoenix have taken the lead 10 to nine with 4.57 left on the clock. Uh, let's see what they set up here. Plenty of time. There's a three-point attempt. No good. It's rebounded by Sean Dixon. Looks like the Phoenix have taken off the press. Oh, well, Captain Webb with the three-point attempt. Oh, nothing but net. It's looking like both teams are channeling their inner Steph Curry's tonight. Oh, good look. What a no-look pass. Great shot. Just couldn't connect on that one. Hey, Fitzroy Webb is going to try to bring it down as quickly as possible. He'll wait for the rest of his team, though. It's cross-court pass. Ooh, nice take. Can't connect. Okay, it's coming back. Phoenix have the ball. Score is 12 to 10. Two rivers. We have about 4.09 left in the game. The Hurricanes are gonna give a little full court press of their own. Puts a lot of pressure on the offense to get that ball across half court. Oh, nice job by the, by the uh, Phoenix for breaking that press. Okay, this is Nashawn Williamson, who's gonna look to drive it himself again, and he does hit. An acrobatic layup, making it 14 to 10, two rivers. Oh, big boy put back. Making it look easy down there. That was number 23, Tristan Reed. Oh, see now, it was a big shot, but that was also a very nice job by two rivers for keeping the hands up on defense. Okay, that foul was on number 23, Tristan Reed with the reach. HMTCA with four fouls early in this game. We're not even through the first quarter yet, so they might want to ease up on the hands a little bit. Okay, big shoes to fill here. Number 10, Nashawn Williamson filling in for the injured Kenny Jernigan. It's a big shot here. Again, Kelly with the rebound. Oh, what a nice job. Faking that shot first, drew the foul. He almost connected that shot too. Very smart heads up play by Amari Kelly. That's HMTCA's fifth foul. They really need to talk about foul trouble early in this game. Right. Kelly misses the first shot. Looks like there's a substitution into the game. As soon as I can see his number, I'll let you know who it is. Looks like that is... Kervin Vincent, one of the captains. Second shot by Kelly is good. 
All right, that's a one-point lead, 15 to 14 by Two Rivers. We got about three minutes or so left in the game. Oh, nice give and go, great look. Just missed, that was number two, Rajon McRae. Okay, they're gonna keep swinging the ball until they can make something happen here. They're not being, they're not rushing it. Another acrobatic take, that's a nice floater. Number 10, Nashawn Williamson, doing a really nice job filling in for Jernigan. Oh, he's open in that corner, that's a three-pointer, no good. Oh, I think he walked first, he did. Okay, that's gonna stay back here. Phoenix have the ball. Score is 17 to 14. The Two Rivers Hurricanes are the visitors for today's game, wearing blue. Oh, uh, they almost gave it up. Giving up the body. Looks like Two Rivers recovers the ball. Call timeout. HMTCA has to be careful here. Two more fouls puts them in a, a bonus situation where the other team will have to shoot one and one on any kind of foul. And that could get you into trouble. So let's see how HMTCA handles their foul trouble. Okay, Williamson is going to set the table. He's the quarterback of the team for now. Yeah, you want to smother Kelly down low. You don't want him in there. Okay, offensive rebound by Williamson. Still looking to swing the ball around, make something happen here. They're not, they're not being too impatient. They're making smart passes and big shots. Here we go. And okay, we have the Phoenix bringing the ball down court. Oh, what a move, but what a block shot. That was pretty. That block was by number 11, Sean Dixon. Crowd is really getting into this. It's getting kind of intense here in the first quarter. Okay, McCray's gonna look to slow it down a bit. Okay, they dish it inside, right from the foul line, no good. Oh, good fake, right in there, little floater. Oh, there's a good look, all by himself. Oh, too hard off the backboard. That was Captain Terrence Weaver Bay. He had a good look, just couldn't make it. doing a bit of coaching on their own over here. Three-point attempt is no good. Williamson gets the rebound, he's got help. Good pass, very unselfish play. That's Fitzroy Webb with the lay-in. And Williamson making it happen. Great hustle. Fitzroy Webb draws the foul. That's the sixth team foul for the HMTCA Phoenix. One more and they're in bonus trouble. Score is 19 to 14, Two Rivers, with 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Okay, there's Webb for three. Oh, it's a circus rim, just not going in there. Oh, nice little crossover. He breaks that defense. 
Oh, looks like Two Rivers didn't. No, who was that? That was Malcolm Lewis trying to draw the foul but couldn't keep his feet planted. crowd doesn't agree with that call and personally it didn't really seem like he was going up with the shot to me either but either way okay Alexis Quinones misses the first free throw gotta hit your free throws they're important and taking my advice he hits the second and oh he was almost out of bounds but there was no time anyway Last ditch attempt was no good. The score is 19 to 15 in favor of the Two Rivers Hurricanes. End of the first quarter. Okay, we're back. Correct TV, 19 to 15 by way of the Two Rivers Hurricanes who start the second quarter with the ball. Okay, Captain Fitzweb setting up for the Two Rivers Hurricanes. And that's a big, big shot by Malcolm Lewis. No fear down there. Oh, look at this. He does it all. But that's heads up defense. That was number 15, Captain Terrence Weaver Bay, possibly saving a layup there. A big heads up block. You can see the athleticism by Webb on that jump when he took the ball. It was nice. Okay, there's a big layup. I believe that was, see if I can get his number, number three, Matu Augustine. Big layup. Trying to get the Phoenix back into this game. They're only down by four points. Oh, I'm telling you, the circus shots on the on the side of the Two Rivers Hurricanes have been pretty entertaining so far. Oh. Al, what do you think of the game so far? Oh, that's right, Al's not here. We miss you, Al. If Al was here, he'd say something like, most definitely. The Phoenix continue to have problems down low. Two Rivers defense is doing a nice job keeping the ball out of the paint. Three-pointer is no good. Rebounded by Captain Kelly. They're looking to rush the offense a bit here. Oh, yeah, he took that one. That was a good heads-up play by the Phoenix. That was number 22, Curvin Vincent, one of the captains, taking the charge. Sometimes you just got to get that jersey dirty. Ah, oh, the two Revers press. Got him rattled. Results in a turnover. Okay, Captain Kelly with a nice fake, but he packed his bags and he walked, walked, walked. It's okay though. Okay, that press is smothering. Phoenix is having a tough time with it, but they do make it across half court and a really good heads up look. But again, off the rim, it's just, I don't know what's going on down there. They're just not dropping. Three point attempt is good. That is Malcolm Lewis. Here we go, let's see if they can make it happen here. Oh, that rim. That rim is the MVP of the Two Rivers Hurricanes right now. Big three-point attempt again. Oh, the rim is playing tricks down low there too. Okay, we have a score of 26 to 17, two rivers. Five minutes and 38 seconds left in the second quarter. Okay. Number five, one of the other captains, DJ Sutherland into the game. And I couldn't even tell you who hit that three-pointer because I looked down at my paper for a second. Score is 29-17, Two Rivers, who is starting to pull away in this game. 
Okay, that press, that hard defense by the Two Rivers Hurricanes is really starting to rattle the HMTCA Phoenix with another turnover. If they keep this up, they're going to lose momentum here. Oh. There's the Phoenix with some defense of their own here. Results in a turnover. Phoenix will take over. They really have to stop the bleeding here. They're down 12 points in the first half. They don't want a repeat of last year. Okay, Captain Weaver Bay. Center slash point guard. That Two Rivers defense has been playing really well tonight. Patience and defense have been paying off. That's another three-pointer. Nope, didn't hit that one. Oh, let's see what the call is. I don't know. It looked to me like Malcolm Lewis kept his hands up the entire time. It didn't seem like a foul, but it was called a foul. Both teams have six team fouls. Next team to score, or I'm sorry, next team to foul will uh, create a bonus situation, a one and one foul shot. <laughs> Alexis Quinones connects on his first free throw. Into the game comes Kiwan Miller, one of the captains who was draining three pointers during pregame warm ups. That's going to be a little short. That's a violation because you have to at least hit the rim of the backboard. All right, the score remains 29-18, two rivers. Four minutes and 35 seconds left in the half. Good job working the ball down the court. Oh. All right, that's a big rebound by Kiwan Miller. It's a good look down low. All right. Trying to make something happen here. That's Matu Augustin. Pulling within nine points is the two or the HMCCA Phoenix. And Captain Fitzroy Webb draws the foul. That's the seventh foul on the Phoenix. So now any foul off the any foul that's not on a shot will result in a one-on-one -on -one free throw opportunity for the two rivers hurricanes. Webb misses his first free throw. Number three, Luis Nazario will come into the game for Williamson. Got fresh blood out there on the floor. Um, I apologize, that's Malcolm Lewis taking his free throws and he hits the second one. Okay, so Two Rivers is back up by 10 points with 4-10 left in the half. Good move. They finally figured out that rim situation down low. That was number 15, Captain Weaver Bay. Phoenix are trying to press. But Two Rivers has done a nice job breaking that press tonight. There's Fitzroy Webb taking it all by himself with the lay-in. Two Rivers back in the lead by double digits. Again, the crowd is really getting into it now. It's getting loud in here. I know Kiwan wants to shoot that three-pointer. It looks like he's open over there. He's going to take it himself. Let's see if he hits. And he does not. All right, it's coming back this way. Two Rivers ball up by 10 points with three minutes and 12 seconds left in the half. Two Rivers have to break this press, which is no easy task. It really puts a lot of pressure on the offense. Oh, here we go. That is Malcolm Lewis, who is unstoppable from beyond the arc tonight. Another big three-pointer. It's a 13-point lead for Two Rivers. Malcolm Lewis really showing his range tonight. Terrence Weaver Bay misses a three-point attempt of his own. All 
All right, other captain, DJ Sutherland, into the other captain, Amari Kelly. It's the captain show tonight. Okay, Malcolm Lewis, he recovers. There's a three-pointer. That's number three, Lewis Nazario. I'm telling you, I feel like I'm watching the Golden State Warriors here. If I'm the coach of the Phoenix, I call a timeout on the next score. It's starting to get out of hand. It's a 16-point lead for the Two Rivers Hurricanes. Okay, that's a big rebound by Sutherland. Okay, he'll give it back to his point guard. Okay, Captain Fitzroy Webb setting up the offense. Don't let him down low. Here he comes, and he draws the foul. I told you, don't let him down there. Okay, that's the eighth team foul in the half for HMTCA. Captain Kelly will shoot two free throws. Kelly misses his first attempt. And he misses his second attempt. There must be something in that rim. Something's going on here today. Oh, the ball's coming right at me. The Phoenix are getting a bit sloppy here. They got to pull it together. Two Rivers wants to keep pouring it on. Fitzroy Webb in that corner where he's been hot from all night. I'm gonna start calling that the Malcolm Lewis corner because he has been unstoppable from beyond the arc from that corner. Nothing but nothing on that shot. Captain Kelly tries to save the ball, but no one's there. It's a 16 point lead for Two Rivers with one minute and 18 seconds left in the half. HMTCA has to make something happen here. You have to go into the second half with a little bit of momentum. And that could do it. Oh, just missed. Okay. Captain Kelly says, I'm going to take it myself. He does. And he hits. They are relentless in this first half. It's an 18-point lead for Two Rivers. You would think that they were on their own home court right now. Kiwan's going to dish it up top, slow it down a bit. They may be holding. No, there's 42 seconds left. They want to get at least another shot here. Good swing. Big shot. That was so necessary. Terrence Weaver Bay, one of the captains, hits a big three-pointer. It's a 15-point lead for Two Rivers. It looks like Two Rivers is going to hold for one more shot. With about 24 seconds left in the game. Here comes DJ Sutherland, the ball stripped. HMTCA will have one more opportunity, and they hit. That was so vital. That's a big play. So it's only a 13-point lead, only a 13-point lead. It's been all two rivers for most of this game. The score is 40 to 27 at the end of the first half. We are back 
On Crack TV, I'm Mike Collins. This is going to be the second half of what's sure to be a very interesting turn of events. There's a 13-point lead in the Capital Region Athletic League Championship game. 13-point lead by the Two Rivers Hurricanes. Both led by... Who are they led by? Malcolm Lewis, Fitz Webb with 11 points. HMTCA is led by Matu Augustin with 11 points of his own. If you're the HMTCA coach, you really wanted to uh, get a little motivation in your players before this second half being down 13. Okay. Captain Kelly saves the ball. Okay, here comes Fitzroy Webb. Oh, you know what? I would have taken that myself. But that's okay, because Captain Sutherland is there to the rescue. It's a 15-point lead for Two Rivers. They come out swinging. Three-point attempt. No good. Okay, Fitzroy Webb, coast to coast. Oh, it's that circus rim. Now they have to deal with it. But Amari Kelly has it figured out. Getting handsy there. It's no good. Right back the other way, Captain Kelly. And that's another charge. Yep, he kept his feet planted. He did. Yep. I agree with that call. Okay, working the ball up the ladder, right across half court. He's going to give the ball to his point guard. That's number five, Alexis Quinones. Right now, it seems like the Phoenix offense system just really isn't working. I don't know if they switched anything from the beginning of the game. But it, Sutherland just doesn't want to stop. He's going to take it all by himself. And really, the Phoenix have no answer for Two Rivers at this point. It's a 19-point lead. Uh, they just can't make anything happen on offense right now. And, you know, honestly, it looks like there's a lot more hustle in the Two Rivers offense and defense at this point. And these three-pointers are just absolutely drowning the HMTCA Phoenix. It's a 22-point lead. Yes, I would absolutely call a timeout, too, if I were HMTCA. I don't think they came out in the second half the way that... Coach Kramer wanted them to. And don't look for Two Rivers to stop shooting the three-pointers anytime soon. It's been ridiculously effective. The Phoenix can't pick it up in this corner. The start to this second half could be the dagger already in this game. Now, I'd like to point out that Williamson and Fitzroy Webb are both doing a really good job acting as the point guard, um, but I just can't even imagine what the score would be. Not, not to discredit them, but to what the score would be if Jernigan was in the game right now. He was just so lights out during last year's championship game, and I can't imagine what that would look like with another year of playing on top of that. It's really unfortunate that he has that leg injury. But the two rivers... Hurricanes are really doing a nice job uh, on both ends of the floor, and these three-pointers are absolutely destroying the Phoenix. They really have to pick it up here. Look at the look at the hustle on defense. It's rattling the Phoenix, and yeah, that's yeah. I know your hands are up, but you're guilty. <laughs> that was definitely a blocking foul. Sometimes the team just gets a little too physical on defense. Nothing wrong with that. You just want to stay out of foul trouble. Smothering defense by Two Rivers pays off again. That's a turnover. Webb will be the quarterback. Working the ball, making the decisions. To take away by Two Rivers. Let's see. Oh, it's a big dunk, a thunderous dunk by number 23. That's Malcolm Lewis. Boy, did the Phoenix need a play like that. 
You know, as I'm sitting here watching that, I'm watching him, and I'm like, you know what? I think he's going to try to dunk the ball, and he did. That got the crowd on its feet. The crowd is loud again. You need to carry that momentum going forward. If you're two rivers, you say, hey, it's only worth two points. Let's keep going. The score is 49 to 29. Two rivers with five minutes and 25 seconds left in the third quarter. The refs are like, yeah, that was a really nice dunk. The other refs are like, yeah, he was using this ball. I'm going to ask him to autograph it after the game. Yeah, yeah, you do that. I will. Okay, if you're two rivers, you don't let that dunk affect your momentum. It's only two points. You just shake it off and keep going. Oh, see? Already. Got to get your head in the game. You don't want to unravel now. Not with a big lead. You want to maintain it. Okay, that's leading scorer, Matu Augustin. Air ball. All right, if you're two rivers, slow it down a little bit. Just do what's been working. Don't stop shooting those three-pointers. You never know when another team is going to get back into a game. It doesn't matter how much you're up by. Okay, Fitzroy Webb is going to reset. Uh, it looks like he's going to dish it back to the top. Three-point shot. See, I mean, that's it. Just keep doing that. That's Luis Nazario with what's been working all night, the three-pointers. Okay, it's another turnover. They'll hand the ball over to Fitzroy Webb. Over to Sutherland with the shot. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Little back and forth affair. It's a nice dish, he just couldn't handle it down there. Okay, it's gonna stay the same way. HMTC crowd, they just want to get back into it. They need more of that spark, like the dunk that they just had. A three-pointer would do it. No good. Air ball. Okay, Malcolm Lewis is going to take the ball down for two rivers. So now I'm surprised that the Phoenix don't go after any player in a corner who gets the ball. Little too aggressive. Foul is on number 24, Fernando Colon. Score is 52 to 29, two rivers, with three minutes and 28 seconds left in the half. Okay, Fitzroy Webb shouting out directions, passes up top to fellow Captain Sutherland, who is again gonna shoot from the free throw line, right off the glass, that's good. 54, 29, two rivers, three minutes and 18 seconds left in the half. I'm sorry, in the third quarter. Okay, Kiwan's in the game. He dishes it off. Oh, that was almost another dunk by... Nope. Tristan Reed. Tristan Reed, who had the dunk earlier. I think I might have said it was someone else. It was Tristan Reed. I want to give him the credit he deserves. Very nice play. It's a late call. It was a foul again on number 24, who's wondering what he did. That's... Fernando Colon, I believe, with the foul. And I think Fitz forgot that he has to take free throws when he gets fouled. <laughs> Number 20 into the game, Asmir Klimpik.
Second shot's also no good. Kiwan looking for his point guard. Throws it away, Sutherland's there, he's gonna take it himself. And it's good. It's 56 to 31, it's a 25 point lead in the third quarter for Two Rivers. Captain Weaver Bay can't connect. But there's Tristan Reed there to clean it up. 56-33, Two Rivers. Two minutes, 27 seconds left in the third quarter. If you're Two Rivers, you just take your time. You don't have to rush anything. Another acrobatic shot, but put back in one for Captain Kelly. He's feeling it. You got to get him out of the paint. He is such a threat on the rebounds. Amari Kelly will see if he can turn this into a three-point play. There's been a lot of three-point plays in this game so far. And he does. It's 59 to 33, Two Rivers. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Kiwan, oh, he wanted to shoot that. I'm surprised he didn't. Big take. That's 23, Tristan Reed. It seems like every time he gets the ball, he wants to just drive to the lane. You know what? It's a good heads up play. At least draw the foul, take your shots. If I'm too river, if, I'm sorry, I apologize. If I'm HMTCA, I really want to start shooting three pointers. You're down 26 points. Uh, you really got to start climbing back and three pointers are the way to do it. Tristan misses his first shot. Number 10, Nashawn Williamson is going to give Captain Fitzweb a rest. Mari Kelly is also taking a rest. Much deserved rest, I might add. Number, number 11, Sean Dixon into the game for Captain Kelly. Big rebound. DJ Sutherland. Oh, I don't know about that one. Yeah. No, the referee's not dancing. That means you uh, can't do what he just did. I'm not sure. I didn't really see the play, but... Some kind of a carry, I believe. Don't let him in there. All right. Trying to climb back into this one. Two rivers. DJ Sutherland almost made an Odell Beckham Jr. catch, but couldn't hang on. What a take. Can't connect. I think it's going to stay this way. It is. Tristan Reed trying to get the rebound, knocked it out of bounds. Oh, three-pointer, no good. Little jump shot, no good, but a putback is, oh, that rim is just causing all kinds of havoc down there. And one. A little bit of momentum that the Phoenix needed. That's number 23, Tristan Reed. Slam dunk extraordinaire. He'll try to turn this into a three-point play as well. Okay, Tristan Reed connects on that three-point play. So the score is 59 to 38, with one minute, 15 seconds left in the third quarter. That's DJ Sutherland right back at him. They are unstoppable down low and from behind the arc. It's a takeaway, but I think he stepped out of bounds. He did. It's going to stay that way. Key one. It's going to give and go right back to Tristan. I think if you're not shooting three-pointers, you got to get it to that man right there. There you go. That's how you get back into ball games. That's a quick four-point play. It's a 19-point lead for Two Rivers, who is right back down at the other end. Big putback. Sean Dixon 
cleaning up on the glass. Oh, a little bit too much body there. Wasn't called, but there's Tristan again. He is fouled. Luis Nazario, not sure what happened there. But that will send Tristan to the line for two. Captain. Or not captain. Wait a minute. Is he a captain? Tristan Reed, who I'm sorry is not a captain, but he is playing out of his mind in this second half. He misses the first shot. All right, it's coming back to Rivers' way. You got to hit those free throws. The two Rivers crowd questioning that last call. The moms in the crowd saying, play smart. And pay attention. A lot of coaching going on to my right. It's nice to see the crowd into it. Sutherland is looking to go in. No, he's not. He's going to give it to the point guard. Don't let him shoot three-pointers. Okay, Nazario with the miss. The rare miss from beyond the arc. There's four seconds left. Oh, that's not a smart foul. No, no, no. I'm, I apologize. It was a timeout. So it looks like Two Rivers will keep the ball. There's 3.2 seconds left. Let's see if you can get a shot before the buzzer. Score is 63 to 42, Two Rivers. <laughs> Hi, hey, get in there. Big crowd at the game today. She's a singer. <laughs> Nothing better than interacting with the crowd. Here, let's see if Two Rivers can pull off one last shot. Here it is. DJ Sutherland can't connect. With one quarter remaining, Two Rivers has a 21-point lead, 63-42. to 42. HMTCA has eight minutes to pull it together. It would be a pretty big comeback. And what I think they'll have to do is they have to start shooting more three-pointers and keep dishing the ball to number 23, Tristan Reed, with that big dunk earlier in the game. He seems like the type of player that can really dominate down low. Very similar to the way that uh, Amari Kelly has been dominating down low for two rivers. Let's see what kind of strategy HMTCA comes out with. With one quarter left, eight minutes. You are watching Crack TV. Slightly less foul trouble for both teams in this half, especially for HMTCA. You can tell they have a lot to talk about. HMTCA lost on their home floor last year to this same team, and they really would like for that to not happen again. Two rivers will come right back out. Really all Two Rivers has to do is be patient with the ball, maintain that lead. Do not allow Two Rivers, or do not allow HMTCA, the kinds of plays we saw in that third quarter where you have four points right off the bat that can easily get them back into this game. You gotta maintain that lead, protect it. Okay, Fitz Webb, one of the captains, will work the point again. Take your time. And at, at some point, 
if you're HMTCA, you got got to get a little bit more aggressive on defense to try to steal the ball away. You don't have much time to play with here. There you go, you see. Oh, he finds a hole. That's 23, Malcolm Lewis. Big layup. It's a 23-point lead for Two Rivers. Good job swinging it around. That's number 23. See, Two Rivers is playing smart at this point by not giving away freebies. It's a three-pointer, no good. It is good. Look at that roll. Number three, shooting the lights out. Luis Nazario with a big three-pointer. I don't know. It's a 26-point lead in the fourth quarter. Circus shot doesn't go in. Rebound by Sutherland, working the ball down low. This is Fitzroy Webb. Oh, Two Rivers is just looking dominant tonight. Big touchdown pass, but they can't connect down low. It's coming back the other way. The score is 70 to 42. Six minutes and 32 seconds left in the game. Yes, yes, yes. It's becoming a little out of reach for the HMTCA Phoenix. Sutherland with a big take. No backboard though, doesn't get it. Another three-pointer for Luis Nazario. This kid is dynamite tonight. He knows it too. Smacking the floor a la LeBron James. I think two rivers have the confidence they need to win this game. Nothing down low, just not happening. It's a 31 point lead for Two Rivers. Captain Kelly down low. HMTCA just not playing inspired basketball right now. Okay, that's an and one play. That's number 23, Tristan Reed. Trying his hardest to get his team back into this game. But it just doesn't look like it's gonna be enough with a 31 point lead this late in the game. I don't know. A lot would have to happen here. Number four, Victor Rodriguez for Two Rivers has checked into the game. Three-pointer no good. It's a rebound by the newly inserted Victor Rodriguez. Oh, Captain Kelly down low, off the glass. You can't let him down there. That you, you gotta get Kelly out of the paint. He'll kill you down there. HMTCA needs to start raining three-pointers if they want to get anywhere near this game. And there you go, Kiwan Miller, one of the captains. He was shooting really well before the game. I'd say you just keep this going. Oh, off the glass, little, little floater. Number 23, Malcolm Lewis. It's a 20, no, 32 point lead for Two Rivers. Four minutes and 50 seconds left in the game. Off the glass, can't make it. Cleanup crew can't make it either. A lot of dirty work under the, under the hoop there, but just can't connect on the shots. Oh, don't let him in there. It's a reach in foul. I believe that's number three, Matu Augustin, the star of the first half. I'd say for HMCCA, number 23, Tristan Reed has been the star of the second half. Janan Mujic into the game for HMTCA. Giving Tristan Reed a break. Oh, nice floater. Number 23. That's Malcolm Lewis for Two Rivers. To see a high school game get into 80 points before the game ends, that's, that's how you know your offense is doing something right. 
I don't have stats in front of me, but I'd love to know how many three-pointers Two Rivers hit on tonight. And the game's not even over yet. It's number 15, Captain Terrence Weaver Bay drawing the foul. He'll go to the line for two. And he'll miss his first free throw. And he'll try to hit his second. And he does not hit his second either. Okay, Fitzroy Webb. Down, oh, don't let him shoot that. Okay. Luis Nazario showing that he is indeed mortal by missing a few shots in a row. I can't believe it. The way he's been playing tonight. Really shooting the lights out. Big take again. Circus rim just can't get it to fall. Fact, the layup is actually the most missed shot in basketball. Two Rivers slowing it down. I think they can taste it. They were probably able to taste it right after the second half. Or the first half, I should say. Another three-pointer, Malcolm Lewis. It's, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's like watching the Golden State Warriors. HMTCA can't do it on the three-point end. It's 84-47, two rivers. It's all two rivers. With a little over three minutes left in the game. That could make it a 40-point lead. No good. HMTCA just not playing with a lot of heart right now, it seems like. And who could blame them? You're losing by 37 points on your own home floor. It's got to be frustrating. Two years in a row. Fitzroy Webb for Two Rivers. He'll shoot two from the charity stripe. And he hits the first one. This is a sharp shooting basketball team. Very fun to watch. Cannot make that second shot. Two Rivers, or I'm sorry, HMTCA trying to make something happen here. Here's Mujic. Okay, a little too hard off the top of the glass. Can't get it to fall. It's 85-47, two minutes, 15 seconds left in the game. It's been all two rivers since the pretty much the third quarter. Offensive rebound on the no. Look at this. Number 11, Sean Dixon. It's just a sea of blue on defense. It's a nice look by Mujic. Ends up in two points, 87 to 49, with a minute, 45 seconds left. Timeout called, Two Rivers knows it, they've known it for a bit now. 87 49. Phoenix are lucky that Two Rivers coach can't play. Must be about six foot six. With a minute 44 remaining in the game, Two Rivers with the possession. We're starting to see a flood of new players. That's number 24, Andre Sterling into the game. Number 15, Caleb Crump into the game. Captain Sutherland still in there. 
number two, Zachary Roger into the game for Two Rivers. Taking it all by himself. What an acrobatic NBA style circus shot down low. That was Nashawn Williamson making it look easy. Here's a three pointer. No good. 89 49. It's a 40 point lead for Two Rivers with a nice look down low. A lot of action down there. Both ends from beyond the arc and in the paint. Two Rivers getting it done tonight. It's a big layup from the new, new player, Caleb Crump. Two Rivers is really excited, and who can blame them? 57 seconds left in the game. The score is 91 to 49. Absolute domination tonight. The injured Kenny Jernigan must be smiling ear to ear watching his teammates repeat as crawl champions. There he is over there on the bench. Big smile on his face. I'm sure he wishes he could be out there with his teammates. That's Rajan McCray kicking it over to Tariq Fogart Hill. Big three pointer for Fogart Grill. That's Tyreek, as the crowd just let me know. Little floater can't connect on that one. Sutherland with a quick move. Turns the ball over. Two Rivers is just 32 seconds away from repeating as crawl champions. And they'll slow it down here just a little bit. They've been driving. They've been in the driver's seat all, all night. They're going to slow it down a little bit. Kick it into second gear here. It's a foul on the Phoenix. 16 seconds remaining in the game. since that is the seventh team foul for the Phoenix. It's bonus time. Caleb Crump will attempt his first one of one. There you go. Caleb Crump connects on the first one. He'll try to go two for two from the line as we close out this game. And he does. 41 point lead for two rivers. Ten seconds left in the game. Three-point attempt is no good. No, hold the ball. No, they won't. Three seconds left. This is going to do it. Congratulations. Your 2016 Crawl Champions, repeat champions, Two Rivers Hurricanes, the final score, 93 to 52. I'm Mike Collins, you've been watching Crec TV. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next year.